Hey guys, this is uh, Mike Greenberg, Jen Greenberg's husband, uh, coming to you uh, live from Knoxville. We were asked to make a video, uh, what happens uh, when you're a new coach yourself and you want to go ahead and sign new coaches as well. Let me enter the, uh, the slideshow here, okay? So what we're calling this video is we're calling it uh, getting their journey started on the right track. Alright, so uh, what this video is going to be is specifically to help you who are a new coach share the journey of coaching with another person. Uh, one of the questions is how much do I tell them? What should I let them know right up front? I don't want to overwhelm them. Uh, what, what can I do? So let's get started. Okay, the first thing that you want to do, obviously, which you probably have already done if someone is interested in doing the business, is you want to share the vision. As a beach body coach, your goal is not only to get people in shape, but it's also to share how their fitness journey could inspire others just as you have inspired them. Remember that I don't know if you uh, remember that the, the goal here is to duplicate yourself to duplicate your upline to duplicate you so in order to duplicate effectively you have to start from your finish a lot of times people will make the mistake of starting from your now for example let's say that you're a coach with 12 coaches okay so and let's say you got them rather quickly uh, you have progressed in the business and your knowledge on the business has progressed and you have built it on to be and you have built onto your business. You don't remember your first steps. So the trick here is to remember how it was when you got here. Okay? I always say, and I even did a video on it, remember how you got got. And that's a term that I use. Uh, so because a lot of times what'll happen is people forget that. And you'll try to share a, a vision based on your level. So if you've been in this business for, let's say, six months, you may consider yourself on a middle school level of Team Beachbody business knowledge. However, you've got to remember that every single person you're talking up to has either no knowledge of Team Beachbody or very minimal knowledge. So you've got to make sure that you're speaking on a level that they'll understand and can relate to. So always keep in mind your initial few weeks into leading up and signing and putting in your social security number into becoming a Team Beachbody coach. That's what you need to share. You need to go back. Every time you talk to somebody, you need to go back to day one. And that will really help in this aspect. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so anyway, so, so that's, that's uh, uh, what you need to do there. How much do you share? Key one, do not talk about it too much. Okay? Uh, it's not because you're trying to keep something from them, but the business takes years to master. We've been in this now for three years almost, and we still haven't even come close. Well, I, I think at this point we understand the business, but the strategy is still an ever-molding task. So you want to share your vision. Let them know you will be there for them. You will assist them in building their business one block at a time. A common mistake, if someone's seeing, let's say a friend of you, let's say your best friend sees you starting your journey, let's say three months ago, and you've completed your first program, and you're in the best shape of your life, and everyone's already amazed, and now you're starting to tell your friends over lunch, like, wow, I can't believe it, my Shakeology's fully paid for, and I'm actually starting to make money doing something that I love. Okay, people are going to be interested, but the very common mistake is they want to be interested in where you're at right now. The fact that you did 90 days of grueling hard work, the fact that you've put on all this time in the computer and you've talked and you've shared with everybody, they don't really want to hear that. They, they assume that since they're, that, that they can just start off at where you're at. Okay, so you want to be very careful not to go too far above and beyond. You want to let them know, again, what the start of your journey looked like and what maybe they can have. So, for example, let's say that they were to buy a P90X3 Challenge Pack from you. 
one of the things that you could tell them is, well, this is work and this has changed my life. Even if you, you give them the program you did or you, you recommend the program you did or even a different one. Let's say that you've done P90X3 or let's say that you did P90X the original and, and you want to offer the new P90X3. Well, what I could tell you that what I did is I went through a challenge group that my upline hosted and I went into that challenge group every day and I did my workout every day and I consistently did the program. As I did the program, I took the advice of my upline coach and began to share my journey with others, friends, family, and social media. During the course of my journey, I started to see great results. And as I got great results, people started to ask how they too could get great results. I was proof the product worked. And that proved concept. So I had already qualified Beachbody, and I already qualified myself. They know me. They know that I'm not a scammer. They know that I'm not some salesperson just trying to make a buck off of them. So, so they see it. They see it's working. So what you could do if you wanted to go along the same journey is you can purchase a challenge pack from me. I will put you in a challenge group that I now run, and you can be on the track to get the same results. And as we start to get results... I will help you share your journey with others, which could not only inspire them just as I've inspired you, but could cause them to maybe sign up under you and start their own journey. So basically, I've duplicated myself in you, and I'm going to teach you how to duplicate yourself through them. Oh, that sounds great. How much money can I make? Look, I don't know how much money you can make, okay? It's an opportunity for one reason. It's an opportunity, not a salary. The reason why it's opportunity is not because it's a scam, not because it's, it's a hoax. It's an opportunity because you are the one that controls that aspect. Your income will be a direct reflection of how many lives you reach, inspire, and change. That is a direct quote from our upline mentor and friend, Lindsay Matway, number one coach. Thank you very much. That one statement has changed our life. Keep it simple. Overcomplicating this opportunity is the number one reason they won't pursue the business. If you go complicated and you start talking about team volume and cycles and 100 on this leg and 200 on this leg and, and this commission and that commission and and placing this person and getting this person to sign up, you're going to confuse them and they're going to feel, if nothing else, that they just don't have the time to commit to that right now. No matter how big your organization is, you must relate the opportunity how you needed it related to you when you first joined. I'm willing to bet that your upline coach did not reach out to you and start talking to you about volumes and bonus cycles and, 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 and five-star bonuses and, and, and elite points. It didn't happen. So don't you do it. Keep it simple. Okay, now understand, now in the keep it simple, stupid one, you know, but what I do for a living, that is how I was trained. Keep it simple, stupid. Okay, just, just keep it down on a basic level. Do not overcomplicate this, please. All it is, again is you are going to help them get into the best shape of their life. And with your guidance and your upline's guidance, you are going to help them inspire others just have had just how you inspired that person. The reason why you're even having a conversation with that person is because you inspired them. Okay? So you did it. You inspired them. All you have to do is teach them how to inspire their friends. That's it. Anything more complicates it, okay? Okay, they're interested. Now what? Well, like we said before, arrange that call or personal meeting. Sure, you can get a coach signed up by doing nothing but Facebook messages or, or emails, but it is so much better if you can get the person on the phone. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting over being sick over a month now. Get the person in a person meet, personal meeting or on the call. We have been told by countless uplines, our upline mentor, Scotty Hobbs, also GoPro, Eric taught us about it. Get him on the phone. 
Discuss what's included in their membership. Again, keeping it simple. You sign up to be a member, not only if you get a challenge pack, is that membership fee of $40 waived. You get a free month in, uh, you get a free month uh, coach supply, uh, what, whatever the, uh, the coach uh, the coach plan is. Uh, you get a free month of that. Of course, they can cancel that if they want to. Uh, the club membership, that's what I was trying to say. They can keep it or not. Obviously, if you're an Emerald, you have to. But don't even bring that up. Again, that complicates it. Okay, basically they get a percentage off of all of their programs, anything they purchase, including Shakeology, they get a discount on that. The other thing it gives them is the opportunity to share products with other people, and if they were to purchase from them, they would receive a commission from them. Tailor the conversation based on their desired outcome. What are they looking for? Are they looking to build a business as you have done? Are they looking into just receiving a discount? Do they want to share their journey or offsetting their Shakeology costs? More than likely, it's going to be the last three. Okay, Someone interested in building a business, uh, you know, and I mean, you, you, you got to take it in steps. We have found that the absolute best coaches in this business started off just for a discount, maybe someone that thought they can be a referring coach. I know other people have had other success stories, but for us, the best people have been the discount coaches because they're the ones that love the products. Remember, product of the product. If you're signing up to be a salesperson, you're not going to love Shakeology, okay? And people are going to see right through that. But if you signed up like Jennifer and I did, who love the products, we love them, okay? That, that, that makes all the difference in the world. People can see that passion. Uh, so, so remember that. Sharing the financial side. How do you bring up making money? Obviously, we make money doing the business. Again, tailor it to them. If you're talking to a person that is interested in maybe starting a journey, you, you, if you bring up, wow, well, well, my upline makes $3,000 a week, or I've been doing this and I make $300 a week, or their upline makes fourteen, you know, they're not going to relate, and they're not going to see it as something that may be obtainable for them. We teach belief as the business grows. Once they prove they are willing to take the necessary steps to make this into a six-figure business, then we start sharing that vision. But if you start sharing a vision of something that they don't see as obtainable right now, they're not going to relate this to them. A lot of times what we do is we ask them, what would you do if you could make an extra $100 a month? What about an extra $50 a week? How would that change your life? What would you be able to do? Would you be able to maybe take a vacation? Would you be able to pay off a car? What if you could make an extra $400 a month doing something that you love and helping others at the same time? Okay, That is something that everyone can relate to. Here's a big thing. Differentiate between their goals and their dreams. What's the difference? Well, a goal is something that they are actually going for. Let's say my goal by the end of the year is to pay off my credit cards. My dream may be to take a trip to Italy. Okay, so if you're doing an initial conversation, a get started right conversation with a potential or a new coach, we're not really going to tailor the conversation to talking about that trip to Italy. Because obviously that's not going to be obtainable at this given moment. So we want to make a dream board, but we want to make a goal board as well. So by doing the steps that you and your upline can help them with, they may be able to pay off their credit card by the end of the year. Okay, so, so that or, or, you know, one of the things that we tell for initial goal, look, here's my goal. If you're really interested in working this business and learning how to do this the correct way, Let's make a goal that by month four, your Shakeology is completely paid for and you're getting the healthiest meal of the day for free. That, a lot of times, is a goal in itself because Shakeology is over $100 a month. So if you're telling them within four months, we can make that, we can probably get that, that cost offset based on our work that we do together, that is something they can say, oh, I can do that, okay. And then you start on a plan to help them achieve that goal. All right, But if you start people off saying that you're going to retire from their job, 
and you're going to be looking, you know, you're going to be looking for new cars. It's, it's just not going to relate to them. Uh, determine their level of commitment. Revise this every month or as needed. Do not get discouraged if someone says that they just want to be on their own fitness journey. That is great. That's actually one of the best things you want to hear. This is a person committed to getting into the best shape of their life. Remember, that's how you got them in the first place, by telling them you can help them with that. We don't want to offset them and get them to the next thing. If we can make that person a physical success, we can definitely show them how to turn that into a monetary value for them. Okay, so that, that's something actually really big. So, so, so don't add on too much. Sure, it might take a little longer, but remember, whose goals are we doing? Are we doing their goals or your goals? Okay, that, that's actually a pretty big that's actually a pretty big deal. So if they say that they want to get into the, the, the best shape of their life, watch them, follow them. As they start sharing successes, this is when you start giving them clues. Hey, do you see what you're doing? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what being a coach is. Oh, are you serious? That's all it is. That's all I do is I just share with people. You see how your friends are marveling at your results? That's all being a coach is. See, you're starting that conversation slowly every single time this right here this is the last thing I'm gonna get into okay this is something that I was trained on when I became a police officer uh, and and it really stuck with me the UDA okay first off UDA stands for observe orient decide and act what the loop means going for the full phrase of UDA loop is observe orient decide act repeat every single time someone is faced with something they are going through an UDA situation okay so learn to recognize this this is something people always ask how Jennifer always seems to turn her coaches into emeralds rubies or diamonds uh, Jennifer has roughly about 40 percent of her team as ruby or above that's absolutely amazing considering that the average is about 10 percent Okay, so I, I believe the last we looked, 60% of her team, or maybe even 70% of her team, is a ranked coach. The reason why is this right here. She recognizes people, and then she helps them do the same thing. So as you're observing them, okay, and they're unfolding their circumstances, which is getting them in the shape, the results of their actions... Uh, and, and then the Orient is basically they they now they now processing the information, and now they're deciding what they can relate to. Remember, everyone always needs to relate something to something. Okay, so they're they're listening to what you're saying, and they're trying to see how that relates to them. So if you're talking to them about the opportunity, always tailor it to how it could relate to their life. This is why it's so important to find out their goals, okay? Because they're also going to be going, what are their setbacks? The first thing they're going to think of is, why won't this work for me? The first thing that they're going to want to do is decide why this is not the opportunity for them. Very few people are going to be convincing themselves this is a good deal. They're going to be deciding that, well, I can't get into the best shape of my life because I'm too busy, because I have three children. Because I do not have enough money to buy a challenge pack. Because I don't have this. Uh, whatever it is. Okay, so after they're orienting what you're saying or what they're seeing, they're going to decide, they're going to make a decision. Based on that decision, they're going to act. Okay, so they may act appropriately, wrongly, indifferently. It doesn't really matter. Okay, but what this does this constantly changes the reason why I'm bringing this up is let's say that someone's joined up and signed up for a challenge pack you bring up coaching to them they think about it you've told them about the opportunity they've decided why it's not a good idea for them let's say that they've decided in their orient that they've decided that right now they want to get into the best shape of their life they decided that's what they want to do, and that's what they're acting on. As they're posting, let's say they now post a statement on their wall. Hey, I can't believe I've been in this program now for 
10 days and I've lost 10 pounds and 3 inches on my weight. You've now observed them make the first step in actually being a coach without them knowing it. So your job is to go there and say, hey, you see that post you just did? You're already starting the natural progression into being a coach. Now they're observing what you're saying. They're deciding. They're going to think about it. They're like, wow, I am getting good progress. I actually am enjoying this. And I could see doing this to help other people. At that point, they're going to re-decide again. And then they're going to act. Okay, so that is something that we just want to continue doing. Okay, we, we want to and that that's going to be fluid. Every single moment, every time you bring it up, every time they make a decision, they're going to go through this diagram: observe, orient, decide, and act. The best thing you can do is learn to observe these yourself, and then when you see them, decide how you can help them relate their journey into actually doing this to help other people. Remember the natural progression. They start off in a challenge, they start getting results, and we just want them to be referring coaches to start with. Okay, we you really do not want to sit down and ask people to commit five hours a day, not see their family, uh, and, and try to build a business. People aren't going to relate to that. But if they can easily relate to just talking to a couple of their friends, and getting them on their journey. Hey, I'm in this journey with this great upline coach. She is awesome. She said that she would help me help you get the same results I'm getting. Then they're going to go through their UDA. They're going to listen. They're going to observe what they're saying. They're going to relate it. They're going to decide, and they're going to act. Okay, so hopefully that helped you. Any questions on that, let me know. That is such an important phrase. I know it sounds kind of funny. I know it's a, a, a complicated diagram. That's why I've left it on here for so long. Here's the thing. Lastly, these are pre-training videos that we consider these as must-watches. Understand these are for you, the coach, to watch. Not what you're giving to potential coaches or potential business builders or potential referring coaches. Okay, These are things that I want you to watch if you have not already. The getting started right. This is, sorry about that. The get it started right. This is something that Jen Greenberg made. So to go on Jen Greenberg's page on her YouTube channel and watch getting started right. This will really teach you how to have a good conversation with your coaches, uh, with your potential coaches. Also the compensation plan and how Team Body pays their coaches. Go on Scotty Hobbs' channel and search for that video. Lastly, how you earn commissions and bonuses. This is the one by Michael Neiman where he plays with all of his son's toys. I love this video. I've watched it several times. And actually, my son has watched it a few times. He actually thinks it's pretty funny. So, so watch this video, okay? Uh, so watch the three of these. If you've not already subscribed to these three channels, they are must-do. Subscribe to Jen Greenberg. Subscribe to Scotty Hobbs and subscribe to the Team Beachbody channel. Any questions on this or any of the other trainings, please feel free to write a message below or send me a message my, um, on, on my Facebook page or send Jennifer a message. Hopefully this helps you in preparing for the coaches. The reason why I wanted you to watch the compensation and the commission bonus structure is just so you know in case they ask. Remember not to complicate it. Bring the conversation back to where it was. Okay? Say, look, that's going to come in time. I will teach you how to make team bonus cycles. Right now, we need to get your journey out there to others. And we can help start making commissions right away and get people on their journey. As they decide to become coaches under you, I and my upline will help you make the most out of the value of your bonus cycles. Okay, let them know you're going to be there for them, but you are not going to get them to understand it on that first day. And if you try to, it's not going to work. The goal is to get them through the Coach Training Academy and then into the Coach Basics Academy or CIA as we call it on Fit for Life. All right, guys, thank you very much for listening and uh, good luck.